businesses in 2022. Here this morning to provide some timely insight is business expert, best-selling author, and Daily Pay Chief Innovation and Marketing Officer Jeannie Walden. Jeannie, thanks so much for joining us this morning. I know first off, I want to ask, what do you see as some of the key issues that will be facing workers and businesses alike this year? It's a great question, and it's going to come down to two things. Businesses and workers are going to be focused on physical and financial health this year. Companies are looking at a lot of attrition, a lot of burnout, and they're needing to get creative about how they not only attract but retain the highest number of workers. And workers are looking for companies that can support their immediate needs financially as well as flexibility in their work schedule so that they can be best supported for any future changes that come up in our environment that we never seem to know what's going to happen around the corner. Well, Jeannie, I know that we've certainly seen in our business, the workplace has definitely changed for everyone. What sort of workplace trends do you see for 2022? You know, in the workplace, we're looking at the realization that the future of work is a hybrid work schedule. That means more flexibility and when people need to come into the office, flexibility around how they're working, how many hours, and even flexibility around how they're getting paid. With everything else being on demand, pay has become one of those benefits that people want as they earn it, instead of having to wait two weeks for that paycheck anymore. Now, we've heard a lot about the Great Resignation. What is that? Oh, gosh. Well, the Great Resignation is this awakening of every person around the world relating to the job that they're doing. Some people are realizing they just need more money to survive. Inflation's up 7%. Things are costing more than they used to. Other people are looking at what they're doing from a career standpoint and choosing to move into different types of careers. It's fantastic. We see people moving into the healthcare space and helping to save lives. But what that means for businesses is, is the reality is this year you can expect one out of every four of your employees at every level in the company to leave you and look for a different job. That doesn't mean you're not great. It just means that somebody's decided it's time for them to do something different. So for that reason, companies need to get really creative about the culture they have in their businesses and the benefits that they're offering. Well, I guess that lends itself to the question then, what can those businesses do to retain the workforce? You know, retention, like I said, is going to be up to each individual worker's perspective, but companies can do a few things. The first thing they can do is look at the benefits that they're already offering and match that to the needs of their workers. Do workers need transportation credits to get back and forth from work? Do they need childcare credits to help take care of a child or an elderly person in the home? Do they need their pay as they earn it, not just to use it to reduce payday loans, but also to start saving? Are you doing enough with financial wellness education in the workplace? And even, just as importantly, what type of mental health resources are you providing to your workers to get through this burnout and challenging time that we've been living in? And how can new policies and technologies help healthcare companies manage their essential workers amid all this uncertainty around the new COVID variants? You know, flexibility around schedules and appreciating when that level of burnout is coming to hit a height is going to be key. And also technology that removes administrative tasks like checking in to a doctor's office or hospital will help. And where can folks go for more information about these workplace trends in 2022? To look for more information about what your industry or business can do or what you as a worker can look for and expect, go to dailypay.com. All right, Jeannie, thanks so much for talking with us today.